Hey guys, Tin Man here, uh, out here with my old F-250. Um, you can see I got a bunch of trash loaded in the back here, and a bunch of trash in the cabs because I've been moving. Um, disregard the mess, part of moving, but um, pulled my truck in here to do some greasing. Uh, I know you guys ain't seen much of this truck, but I'll show you guys a little bit of everything. Today, um, it's going to grease our front end because it's got the twin traction beam and it's a good idea to keep them greased. Um, really, other than that, we won't be doing much truck stuff. Um, we have to unload all that stuff off that trailer. So we'll get to that point five here because this is my favorite way to record because you get everything in shot. So, yeah, today we're going to focus on getting the truck cleaned out and uh, fixing some minor things. Uh, it's probably a two-part video, or not two-part, but uh, it's Friday now. I'll probably have this uploaded Saturday afternoon um, because I have a map sensor coming for this truck and I need to clean the floor up. But my map sensor is bad, therefore it's causing the truck to run funny. And we can't be having none of that. So, if you guys don't know about these trucks, that right there on the firewall with the hose run to it. Let me find my finger because I, there we go. That's your MAP sensor. So, MAP stands for, you know, Manifold Absolute Pressure. I'm out here. I'm on my phone today, not my camera because I don't have my little uh, SD card adapter because I edit on my phone. So, yeah, we're going to change that tomorrow when I get the part in. Uh, maybe some other little things, but I think that's my biggest issue. Might have, I think I may have busted, uh, my front tank when I was out four wheeling, but I don't see any water dripping, so I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we'll get that figured out. It's just like it, uh, I ain't getting no fuel from the front tank. I filled it up yesterday, you know, so we'll figure that out. Dinty dinty. Last time you guys seen this truck, didn't have those big old mirrors on it. It had still had the factory mirrors on it. You know that both here and here, they were loose. Well, no, the I think the yeah the inserts themselves are loose on this side. But we'll I'll uh, just go over how I mounted these real quick. These are Ford factory mirrors. They came off an F seven hundred. Made a guy on the side of the road for these. These are heated mirror heads, but dad had cut the wires off of them i don't even know where the wires come out yeah right there come out right there and i haven't i'm gonna get a new set and put mirror heat on this truck because in the winter time when there's a half inch of ice caked on that mirror it really sucks because you can't see nothing so yeah don't mind heavy breathing i'm kind of hot and kind of do a little work so yeah plans for this truck um build the 351 um, we're going to relocate that and put another battery in this truck because we use this truck for uh, overland. Uh, we'll clean our bed out, of course. But, uh, you know, clean the bed out. I'm going to put like a platform in here for a little bed and a bed topper on here. So, yeah, it should be a pretty sweet overland truck. Also, big to my buddy Ashton for hooking me up with an Instagram sticker. I'll put his uh, Instagram down in there. His girlfriend made that for me. And I need to get this sticker remade because that's a timeless classic. But yeah, I guess I'm going to start cleaning on my interior. Then once we get that done, well, no, probably the first thing I'll do since it's still light outside is I'll go, I'm going to finish greasing my front end. Then we'll go move that trailer and put that stuff in the barn. So yeah, I'll get back with you guys shortly. All right, so I have all my steering components greased down there. And uh, if you guys know anything about OBS Forge, you guys know that a lot of people talk trash on the uh, twin traction beam front ends. But most of the people that talk trash on them don't take care of them. Now, twin traction beams are a little more difficult to upkeep than a, you know, a, a solid front axle. Yeah, I will admit that. But they ride better, you get better flex. So, yeah, I'm not straight axle swapping this truck. You guys can take that straight axle swap and shove it. Just 
So we're gonna go hook up this trailer now and back into the bar. A little bit muddy out there here. I do say so myself. You know, I said it was muddy, but I need four-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, let's lock this baby in. I got my hubs locked already, so we'll just put it in four high there and we'll pull it back up. <laughs> yeah, she's rough, boy. She's rough out through here. I need to pile up the ground and get it to flatten out a little bit, but... Uh, I ain't gonna worry about that right now. We just gonna worry about getting hooked up to this trailer and not getting a freaking concussion. It's bad when you need full drive out here. Of course, it's been raining for a little while, so. Let's make sure we're close. I probably have to go inside and get the keys. Not even, dude. I couldn't back to save my life. All right, guys, so we got the trailer unhooked. Um, now we're going to go over to the barn. I'm just going to pull it around because I don't feel like backing up. Let's pull around there and back in. We'll see if we can get out of this place without, uh, you know, digging some ruts. I doubt we'll be able to. I mean, you see, it's pretty muddy. It rained for a little while. It ain't too bad, but it ain't too good either. So. Peg, I just want you to know. You're watching this i don't know how you do this whole thing with one leg Let's see if we can get out of here yeah i don't know how you do it with one leg peg Woo! door's not shut Woo need new strikers and stuff but i'm broke boy so we ain't worried about strikers and stuff It's a little muddy. Yeah, a little muddy. Just a little muddy. Uh, we'll make this big wide swing here. This truck does not like turning full drive at all. Like, it hates it. Everything starts binding up in that front end. Yeah, let's take her out full drive there. And uh, I think we can make it around through here without using four-wheel drive we can't we got problems i don't really have the most aggressive tires on this truck though so but that's going to change here soon when i get the money just put some new tires on there see this truck runs good on a on a damp day i don't know why that is but it runs like garbage on a on a dry dry day so, find the reverse there now i'm gonna get back to this hole and i'll be right back with you guys well um, let y'all know that it got so rough that uh, my microphone actually ended up falling off its little hanger there. I got her back up there. You guys probably noticed that before I did, but that's all right. Now, let's get all this stuff unloaded so we can head south. All right, guys, so we got everything unloaded now. So what we're going to do is head to, uh, we're going to head south. And uh, we'll drop this trailer back off at my friend's house. We'll come back home. All right, guys, we're gonna head that way now. Had to go in and grab my phone charger and some good and plenty. This is the best candy. I don't care what nobody says. I love black licorice and it's candy coated, man. Speedo works about half the time. Guys, I got a problem. My 351 smokes like a clap out 73. Yeah. She's bad, man. She's bad all. 205,000 miles, been abused her whole life. All right, guys, it's a little later in the day now, about uh, eight o'clock. And um, as you can see, I got a couple saws laid on the floor here. They look tiny, this .5 zoom, but uh, this right here needs a new recoil spring. And I'll zoom in there, get down here. These springs for the dogs for the recoil or shot but otherwise it's got plenty of compression seems like a decent saw so what we'll do is uh we'll get a um you know 
the, the springs and stuff for this tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I have to take the flywheel off to fix that. But, uh, yeah, we'll get that figured out. This right here, I mean, it looks like a decent saw to me. Uh, and then this one right here runs. I mean, uh, hold on a minute. I'll show you guys it's got compression. Plenty of compression. And, uh, yeah, I have all the, I have the cover for it right there. It's got to find some screws. But since I don't have any uh, two-stroke gas, I'm going to go rob some out of the sled. Since that's, like, the easiest thing to do. Then we'll come back and we'll put some on this one. We'll see if we can get her to run real good. All right, guys. So I got this one running. Um, like I said, I have to uh, do some work on the recoil on this one. You guys can't see anything. So I'm going to fix the recoil on this one because I'm really excited to get this one running. Because, I mean, that's a heavy, nice saw. Um, this one, I mean, it's got its little quirks, you know. Let's go over here in the light and look at these. Uh... Disregard the mess. Like I said, we've been kind of moving in. But this has its little quirks, you know. Uh, the fuel line actually was not all the way down in the tank. And now it's not pulling fuel anymore. So you can see my blood's all over it. Let me show you guys my hand. That's where my hand was catching on all this plastic. And it got, you know, blood all over the saw. But I did have this one running. It's still warm. I did some uh, test cuts with it. So... Yeah, it did pretty good. Uh, you know, just can't see anything. Cut me some slots in there, you know, did me a cross. So, yeah, I'm excited to get this one running. Looks like it's got a new plug in it already, too. But um, I couldn't get to pull over with the recoil fast enough to actually get it to start. But this one does have a chain brake on it, unlike that Poulon over there. Also... Uh, I have another saw over here that you guys might be interested in if you guys are interested in saws a little bit older than the rest of them right, Here's old John Deere saw. I got to fix that stud right there. If you guys can see there you go Get me another one of them And this one right here would be good around the farm too because it's fairly light. It's small um, Put it down here by my boot fairly small saw um if I had some two-stroke gas, I would start this one up, but I put it all in that one. So I may drain some more out of the uh, sled tomorrow, and um, we'll get, hopefully, we can get that one fixed tomorrow. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of tree trimming tomorrow. Oof. I'm kind of a klutz. I got doggone uh, Allen wrenches scattered all over the floor. Got the fan going because I got it nice and smoky in here because, you know, I don't want to wake the neighbors up because so I had the door closed. So, yeah, we'll focus on uh, in the morning. We'll get the truck fixed and then uh, probably go haul some firewood. Um, I have a tree over here by the house. You guys can't see it because of how dark it is, but there's a tree over here by the house somewhere. Well, you can't even see my hand. Uh, see if we can turn this on. No, you can't turn it on from here. Kind of sucks. And then in that direction, I've got uh, some trees I have to cut up too. So, hopefully, we can get this uh, at least one of these saws running real good. I'll tell you what I'll do I'll try and get that stud out of this saw, and uh, we'll go from there. Now, that puppy right there is hot. I mean, that is hot. Let's stick some, uh, let's see just how hot it is. it catch it on fire well she's hot anyhow so now we'll stick us a wrench on there see if we can get that stud out all right all right guys so i got the bar stud out of this one um we'll have to go get another tomorrow i think i have a ball a little bar around here somewhere that i can put on this one and uh yeah we'll break out some saws and have some fun tomorrow uh, yeah, that's a lot. That's a big heavy saw. Well, I say it's not big, but it is heavy and uh, it, I mean it's heavy built uh, I Mean, you know this one's got a plastic body on it. So does that pool on but this one right here is it's like I think a cast aluminum body So yeah, we'll try and get this one fired up tomorrow 
I had to get some bar and chain oil and stuff, but uh, yeah, that ought to be fun. Well, guys, it's Saturday morning. Here with old dad and the six leaker. Got our map sensor, uh, some fuel line. And it better work. It better work. We got some uh, fuel line for the saw and some bar and chain oil, and we're going to go get some gas. And we have a catch cat, so we're going to get on that. Well, guys, um, had a little bit of difficulty. I could not just pull on to run. I, you know, went through the fuel lines, cleaned the carburetor. Still no luck, so I don't know what the problem is with that one. But uh, I'm going to try and get this trimmer back together and see if it'll start. And uh, if not, then we'll just uh, continue on with some other stuff. Uh, I have to put the sensor on this truck still, so. All right, guys, so... Um, I got the truck fixed, got the map sensor put on, I took it for a test drive, it done pretty good, so I'm happy about that, but I couldn't get my saws running, so that's kind of disheartening, but I just want to show you guys this little deal right here, not sure exactly what it is, I think I kind of talked about it earlier on in this video, I can't exactly remember, but we're going to use this for, um, in the winter time i'm gonna do something different about that hitch up there or may leave it at that height so it's easier to pull with a pit or with a garden tractor so we can pull you know loads of logs up out of there out of the field back here um i may just get me a couple more two befores and put them down in these slots just like well them just sit down in there so yeah we'll fix that and Right here will be our little logging skid. Well, I couldn't get the sled running, or the sled, but saw running today, so I'm kind of sad about that. But I did order the recoil for the Husqvarna, so. All right, guys, a little later in the day now, um, Saturday evening. As you can see, the shop is a lot cleaner. See, shop is a lot cleaner, uh, thanks to Dad. Um, he got a bunch of stuff picked up, a bunch of stuff put away. I just have some little stuff to organize now. Working on the workbench over here. Got my saws on it now. Um, my little welder over here. Cables hung up. Um, some lights. Uh, so yeah. Well, pretty much uh, have this place looking sharp by the time we're done. I'll be able to actually pull my pickup all the way in here now. We got a big pile of trash over here on the floor. Let's go over here and get my helmet. We'll hang it. Actually. Um Yeah, no, we'll just hang it over here with the cables. Because I mean I like my eyesight, so I like to have it right when I'm ready to weld. Huh, that's neat. It even darkens because of that how bright that light right there is. It's bright. That's one of them work lights, you know. I just nailed it to the wall. But, uh, yeah, we'll get things cleaned up a little bit here. And uh, should have a nice place to work at. Get this floor space cleaned up. And, yeah, like I said, we'll have plenty of space to work. I need to go to the dump sometime soon. Um, got a bunch of stuff laying over here. Some gas cans. There's John Deere parts in this back room, which you guys have not seen. It's also looking a lot better. You can actually walk around in here now. There's my little heater. Let's see if we can get that to work on that big tank. I've been kind of having problems getting to work on that big tank, but you're definitely looking good. One of the first things I did when we kind of got in here was I put that light up. And I just had that one sitting on that little rack, but Dad hung it up too, so. Yeah. I'll probably pull my truck in here tonight. But I'm really happy with how things are turning out. We've got a lot of room to work now. We can actually walk around without tripping on stuff. Uh, we'll definitely do some more arranging stuff. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So it is Sunday now, and um, I'm out here in the shop. I have to go to church. And um, this video has drawn on a little bit longer than I thought it would. But um, tomorrow, we're not going to focus on this stuff. There's just a few other things we can focus on tomorrow. I'm um, trying to get that thing sold. Hopefully we can get it sold. And, uh, yeah, we'll focus on some other stuff tomorrow, maybe. Depending on what there is to do. 
So yeah, just uh, wanted to let you guys know that it's Sunday. Uh, I don't really work on Sundays, so. But uh, this video is definitely drawn on a little bit longer than I thought it would, so. Hey guys, so it's currently Tuesday night. I just got back from a revival service and um, kind of realized that it's Tuesday today and I was supposed to have a video out Saturday. So I kind of slacked off on the videos, but uh, we'll just call this part one and I'll start working on part two tomorrow or something or Thursday. So yeah, peace out guys. Hope you have a great week.